uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what it is, and, and I'll be ready to go. What's the, the worst conditions to play in as a quarterback? Oh, that's a good question. Um, You'd like it to be, you know, 70 and sunny every time, but you know you can't always have that. So, I don't know anything that's not that would be, un, you know, somewhat unfavorable. But you plan it every week. You know, we, we've been, you know, lucky to be in a dome a lot this year. But um, you know, if you play outside and you play in a little weather, we deal with it. I've had some of my best games in weather, and um, so yeah, we'll see. Do you, can, I mean, just just out of curiosity, can you reference one specific? What was maybe your favorite game where you played in conditions and, and had a performance that was memorable for you? Uh, in LA, we played uh, the Giants. Gosh, in 2017, um, 2017 we played the Giants. I think we won 51-17 or something. Um, it was raining, it was windy, and um, yeah, we threw the hell out of it and had a good day. What about playing a team twice in you know, such a short period of time? Is there any issue in that at all? Good, bad, and different? Yeah, it's 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 interesting. You know that you get them. You know, so so back to back, and they only had one game. Um, of inventory for us to see in between, so yeah, it's it's interesting, and um, you know they're dealing with it too. So it's it's always a little bit funky, but uh, yeah, they'll have something new for us as will we for them. What were the biggest challenges that defense presented to you last time out? Yeah, I think they're they're so improved from um, earlier in the year, and then and then even last year, you know how how stout they are on the inside, how good they are against the run, and then um, how hard they play. Man, they they play hard, and um, they've got really good players on every level, and. Um, I think their coach has done a really good job of putting them in the right spots to, to make plays, and uh, they're playing confidently. I'm curious when, when the offense is just playing in general as, as well as you guys have this season, uh, how much do you worry about just maintaining what it is? Or are you always thinking about how much you're leaving on the table as a yeah. competitor? You tend to think about that, yeah. you know, you, uh, Obviously, the, the grand picture of the season, we've done some good things. but. You know, we, we the, who we are and, and, and what makes us great is that we, you know, see the things that you miss on, that you wish you could have back, and that, you know, if you would have done that, it would have been a perfect day. And, and, and so, yeah, that's what makes us great. And um, we're always pushing to be better and, and know we've done some good things, but can, can, can be, be a lot better, and, and that's still the exciting part. Jerry, you've been connected with LaPorta more and more, and you've talked about it. In a weather game like this, does a tight end like that become even more valuable if it's windy and rainy and everything else? Uh, yeah, it could be. I mean, it depends on, on what we end up doing. I don't I don't think we'll change our game plan much to, on, on what the conditions may be. So if, if he's involved and it's going to be no conditions, I don't think it would change much if it was conditions. Um, yeah, we'll see as the week goes on what it'll be. I don't think we're, we're thinking too much about it. Um, but yeah, he's done a good job getting himself open and uh, I, I, making those catches when it matters. And um, a guy that I trust a lot. Then where he really kind of embraces the weather, doesn't care about it, doesn't impact you. What is it about the weather? Yeah, that nothing you I can do about it. Nothing I can do about it. So <laughs> if it rains, it rains. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, you know, we get to play indoors at home, which is great. But if you're outdoors and there's weather, you deal with it and you, and you, you play. And, Guys do it every week all around the league. I've done it my whole career, and so you just deal with it. How in worse than precipitation, or is there something that can be? It can be. You know, I, I think last year we played the Giants, Giants or Jets. Yeah, it was windy, and yeah, it can, that can have an impact on some things. But um, yeah, you deal with it. You make the throws you need to make, and um, move the ball and try to win the game. How impressive is the lack of drop off from Graham whenever his number is called and he's got to step up big? Yeah, it's been fun. It's been really fun to see that. Obviously, Frank is, is one of a kind and having him in there is, is, a, is a difference maker for us. But when, when Graham has to come in and um, handles it so well, um, mentally, physically, all of it handles it really well. And um, last game was no different. And then, you know, moving forward, we'll see what happens. But he's done a great job um, being ready to go and, and, and making sure he's on top of what he needs to be on top of. I should know the answer to this, but do you ever throw a glove on the throwing hand? And if so, is that yeah. difficult? Um, yeah, I, I, I've done gloves on both hands in the past. And um, is it difficult? No, I love it. Uh, there's a certain threshold I always joke about. Like, it has to be cold enough. Yeah. Like, if it's not cold enough, then it's, it's not, like, very helpful. But when it's cold enough, it, it's, it's, I think it's very helpful for me personally and something I've used in the past. So, yeah, we'll see this weekend. What's rough runner quarterback, wind or snow? <laughs> I feel like I've been asked this question like four times in this. Uh, oh, did you? So no, it's okay. Uh, it's they're both they're both uh, you know challenges that you overcome. It just you just deal with it. Um, I don't think either one is particularly harder than the other. But um, yeah, if it's if it's not perfect conditions, they're playing in it too. So you just deal with it and um, you know make the throws you need to make and compete your you know as best as you can and try to win the game.
Yeah. How's everything coming together with Donovan Peoples Jones? He kind of joined yeah. before that compact of like Thanksgiving <clears throat> stretch. Just you feel it coming along with him? Yeah, he's done a great job, and and I think you know we'd like to get him involved more as as this year goes on. And um, he's been helpful. He's been had a great attitude. He's uh, you know doing a lot of good things during practice and trying to find ways to, to get him involved. Certainly. A couple more guys. Season, strong finishing strong. You guys are on the road. The number of games for y'all in this year, playing some good ball. But what's the key to finishing strong for you guys? Last stretch. Yeah, just just you know, turn our urgency up a little bit and and, and know what time it is and um, know that you know, kind of everyone is in that mode of you know, you have to win these games and, and you know, everyone has you know things that they're going for and um, no one's out of it and, and everyone's trying to trying to win the game. So knowing that you have to turn your urgency up a little bit and. Um, stay process oriented and, and, and trust what you're doing daily in practice. But yeah, it's certainly uh, your intensity turns up a little bit this late in the year. Does that turn up even more whenever you have three games against division opponents in the last one? Yeah, sure. Those games always you know feel like they count a little bit more. So yeah, uh, I, I don't think it you know changes what we're thinking about this week. We're ready to play the Bears and they are a division opponent. So yeah, it'll be um, another challenge for us. But yeah, looking forward, um, we do have some more coming up. But right now it's about the Bears. Trajectory of your team since Dan got here. Is there something about his approach that made him really well suited to, um, to be the leader of a, of a team that's going from you know, not yeah. competitive to you know, top of the division, top of the division? Yeah, I think you know. We last year we talked about this a bunch of like uh, his ability to stand in front of the room and in, in the face of adversity and the face of challenges and be able to be the same guy every day and. Um, to speak confidently to the room and to never lose belief in us when things are bad, um, and they were bad for quite some time for there early on, and uh, that that speaks to who he is and, and and why we believe in him and why we trust him and why he's the leader of this team. How do you kind of know that he, he still believes in you guys? And when, like, like you mentioned there, like what what was he doing? That the way, way he speaks to us, you know, and again, this is years, this is uh, two years ago, and then early parts of last year. The way he speaks to us, the way he, you know, tells us, and how genuine he is, and. Um, yeah, he's, he's a hell of a leader and a hell of a coach that we're, 